Hello everyone, my name is Deeksha Jain and I secured rank 22 in the Civil Services Examination 2018. In this video, I will be talking about population and related issues. Population is a dynamic force which can contribute to the potential growth and prosperity of a nation as well as neutralize its development and hence it can be productive as well as an unproductive force. India's population uh, in 2019 was 1.37 billion and we are soon targeting to sort of, we are soon going to uh, overtake China as the most populous country of the world. In India, UP, Maharashtra, Bihar, uh, West Bengal and Andhra Pradesh constitute 48.9% of the uh, total population. There is some disparity in the contribution to the population between states. So, uh, let us first talk about the causes of such a high population in India. The first one is economic factors. Uh, in economic factors, uh, the dominance of agriculture, uh, where the number of hands that increase in a family also means that the labor in uh, the field is going to increase. So, it creates that kind of mentality. A uh, slow process of industrialization and urbanization, poverty, lack of education, uh, especially about uh, family welfare. So, these have contributed to high population. There have been also socio-cultural factors, uh, for example, religion. Uh, if I were to take an example, a woman in Ireland had to uh, uh, died because she was not allowed to abort her child. So, religious uh, preoccupations like this, there are religions which uh, are against birth control. So, that also leads to an explosion of population. Early marriage, compulsory marriage, notions for requirement of a male child. So, uh, there are families which keep having a female child till they reach, uh, till they finally have a male child. So, that also increases the population. So, all these socio-cultural factors, behavioral factors play a major role in uh, the population of a country. Uh, another major reason is poor health infrastructure and technological factors. And also uh, because of poor health infrastructure, the India had uh, used to have a very high mortality rate, child mortality rate, the mother's mortality rate. So, because of this also, because people are scared that their children are not going to survive, uh, they would have a lot of children. So, we have been doing well in this regard and we have improved our IMR as well as MMR, but this also is a factor. Uh, then, poor and lower position of women in the society. As I said, first is the preference for the male child and lack of autonomy of women over her own uh, reproduction. Often, women uh, don't want to reproduce, but they are not the decision makers about that. That also leads to higher population in the country. Now, we'll talk about the consequences of population growth. Now, there are positive consequences as well. Uh, for example, higher population is a source of productive labor. If the population, if the demographic dividend is utilized properly, then uh, the number of skilled workforce, uh, the industry should be booming, there will be a lot of employment. It is Population is also a big source of market. The more the population, the more the demand in the economy. So, more the demand for industries and services, etc. The negative side of uh, a very high population is that first is the demographic disaster. If we are not able to uh, skill our uh, youth, India currently has a demographic dividend which means that there are more people who are young and uh, eligible for work than people who are dependent, that is children and elderly. So, if we don't train these people and if we don't uh, give employment and make these forces productive, then it can lead to a demographic disaster which basically means that uh, it will lead to unemployment, increase in crime, violence and frustration among the youth. Second negative impact is that adverse impact of economic development. So, income generated by the economy is neutralized by addition of population because all that income is used. There is no savings, therefore there is no investment in the economy and therefore there is no capital with the industry. So, this also sort of leads to slowdown in the economy. It also leads to poor quality uh, of uh, human resources, low standard of living, declining man is to land ratio, so increasing population density, quality of life also suffers because of that, uh, increasing crimes and political instability, poverty and unemployment. So, these are all the negative aspects of a very high population. From the very beginning, we have India as an independent country has realized the problems that are associated with an unmanageable and very high population and there have been various uh, initiatives taken in this regard. Earlier, the Mukherjee committee propagated the Gandhi method which talked about celibacy, delayed marriage. Later, more clinical method and promotion of contraceptives etc. was promoted. There was Bori committee in 1946, 
in the fifth plan we had a target approach which was more forceful it was target based in terms of sterilizations and uh, it led to deaths of people also and because it was forced it was not accepted by the society it could not lead to the change that it would have it had it been voluntary and uh, finally after a few years the population policy to family welfare so the what the focus of the government was more on promoting the welfare of the family health of the children so that uh, parents are uh, sure of the survivability of their children and parents are more educated about family planning it was a more voluntary and inclusive uh, effort in the 12th plan we finally had the national population policy uh, in 2000 here we had certain uh, targets where we wanted to take the total fertility rate to 2.1 which is the replacement ratio imr to infant mortality uh, ratio to 30 etc so the immediate objectives of the national population policy 2000 was one meeting the unmet need of contraceptives so it was made sure that it is being made sure that contraceptives are available to everybody so that it promotes better family planning second is health infrastructure health in terms of there needs to be proper uh, delivery and uh, the mother and the child both need to be safe and for this the janani suraksha yojana has played a very important role in promoting institutional deliveries again institutionalized deliveries among the medium term objective to achieve the replacement ratio uh, of population which is 2.1 long term target of national population policy is population stabilization now let us talk about the things to be done in this regard so what can be done and what is being done to control the population of the country uh one is reduce the dropout rate india uh, the government is focusing on near 100% uh, middle school uh, attendance because their education is hampered and it also does not promote uh, good family uh, planning behavior it leads to child marriages many girls drop out and they are married off at a very young age so for all these things that is important imr should be that is infant mortality rate should be reduced to 30 by 1000 compulsory registration of uh, births deaths for better data analysis and management special care for women's education and women's empowerment uh, that is important because it is woman is the mother and if she is empowered then she will be able to take make choices about her own uh, reproduction a uh, promotion of the small family norm so uh, the very famous you know hum do hamare do slogan and basically uh, using nudge theory uh, nudging people towards better uh, reproductive behavior a uh, decentralization of health infrastructure for better facilities even to the last mile uh, even in interior rural areas there should be institutionalized de- deliveries uh, the government has also set up the national population commission in 2005 to achieve the objectives of the policy uh there has been a population stabilization fund to help uh, those states which are lagging behind and an empowered action group to supervise the implementation of population control measures in the center as the states again there are certain suggestions uh, effective implementation of family planning norms so it is not just the birth control but it is basically working on an entire behavioral psychological change towards better reproductive decisions better family welfare and family planning research and development also in this area needs to be promoted health infrastructure needs to be promoted uh, intersectoral approach uh, integration of the policies which focus on better uh, fertility like janani suraksha and other uh, health policies should be integrated with this special care and attention should be there for rural areas because there the fertility rate is higher than in the urban areas a uh, better training of health workers appointment of health workers ashas in rural areas all these things basically create a conducive environment for people towards a better fertility rate and finally to uh, bring stability to the indian population so that will be all about population and related issues thank you so much subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to get latest updates on upcoming videos